a very new development is that China is not just providing investment to the world and hard technologies to the world, but it's also providing what you can call soft technologies, new practices. Bike sharing is one of them. The way bike sharing has taken off in China, it showed a new practice uh, to the rest of the world. So on, on the renewable, on electrical vehicles, on the beautiful China protecting national parks, protecting the panda, very recently also making a complete ban uh, of, uh, of ivory in China. You see China also taking the global lead. And I just noticed that Hainan province in southern China now has made a complete ban on the, on the use of and production of uh, one-use plastic to make sure that the fantastic beaches of Hainan are not uh, polluted. With. And again, China taking the lead and setting a very positive example for the rest of the world. China is now the biggest, by, not only the biggest, but by far the biggest uh, producer of solar energy in the world. Last year, for the first time in human history, there was more solar energy coming into the global grid than, ha than uh, coal, oil and gas and nuclear together. Fantastic achievement and half of that uh, was China, uh, China alone. Solar is much better for the environment, much better for our health. We don't smoke uh, in that all the, uh, we don't choke in all that uh, smoke. So there is any reason to go for solar, but now it's also cheaper than coal. So that's a fantastic achievement and it has been driven by China. When China is now closing down coal, the remaining main source of pollution in the big cities will be traffic. And China can take the, a lead role here. If the, um, the government has a huge purchasing power, they can introduce uh, electrical vehicles and a number of opportunities for China to lead industrially and politically and financially. Belt and Road Initiative is a fantastic vehicle for that. That's the biggest investment program in our time. This is the biggest investment opportunity in our lifetime. It will be huge investments in Central Asia, in Africa, many other parts of the world. So it's a fantastic possibility for moving that into investing in solar energy, in wind energy and all the renewables. So we will work with the government of China and other partners in the International Coalition for the Greening. China has just constructed a uh, railway from Mombasa to uh, Nairobi in Kenya where there is a number of bypasses so that elephants and other animals can pass uh, the railroad without being, without being killed. So there are many, many opportunities for using this uh, investment initiative on Belt and Road to uh, go green.